most amazing kid in the world check. Yep. That's our boy. On family day, saw that the elderly man across the street needed help shoveling. So he packed up and went over to help. Parents, let your fucking kids make some decisions. Like, let them feel that their decision matters, that they can actually chime in on what they want. Like, if your son or daughter says no, they don't want to do the program, then let them be part of the decision making. And if they want to do something, if they're coming to you saying, mom, I want to go and do that thing, or dad, I really want to go and try that and get involved because I think it would help me. Then let their decision, when they're giving you a thumbs up, let them lead the way. Your job is to support them. Step up, allow your son, your daughter's decision making abilities to be experimented with, to lead the way so that they can believe in them. Booyah. Good women do still exist, but our stomachs ain't flat and we talk back. Ain't that the goddamn truth? This motherfucker. Relax. Get off the rug. Sit down. Calm down. Calm down. Yes, it's cold as hell and the weather sucks, but some days it's sunny, so you can get in your car, blast the music, blast the heat, and pretend that you don't fucking live here. I can make friends if I want to. I can make friends if I want to. I can make friends if I want to. But I'm an introvert with poor social skills. <laughs> okay, I am on set, and this, I'm walking. And I'm, I'm coming back from lunch, and I, all I wanted was like some macaroni and cheese. They didn't have any macaroni and cheese. I, oh, I am so mad right now. I'm going to punch the first person I see. Brock, no! Don't get me wrong. Being an adult and living on your own is pretty great. The only problem is, is that I now have access to adult money, which means I can buy whatever I want, which means I end up buying shit like this and having zero regrets about it. When Bay does your hair for you. <laughs> Look at a fucking rooster, bro. <laughs> your crush is coming at normal. Hi. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. What just happened? Are you ready to go, babe? Am I ready to go? Are you kidding me? What the fuck are you doing? Okay, well, I'm super excited for our picnic in the desert. So excited. Ow! What the hell are you doing, Cartman? I'm killing you. But unfortunately, I could only afford a wiffle bat, so it's gonna take a while. Cartman! Don't fight it, Kyle. It will only take longer. Just slip into sweet unconsciousness. Listen, am I the most attractive girl in the world? No, but do I have a great personality? Also no, but do I wake up every morning and try and be the best person I can be? No. Why are Canadian girls so amazing? Is it the air? Is it the water? Is it the endless supply of Tim Hortons coffee and maple syrup? No, 
No, it's none of that. Canadian girls? They're just really cool. They can take care of themselves on their own, and they can talk back when they want to. So to all you Canadian girls out there, thank you. Thanks for keeping up with the boys. Thanks for watching hockey. Thanks for rocking that flannel with those high heel shoes. Thanks for saying sorry, even if it's not your fault. Thank you, Canadian girls. Thank you. Good!